All right, this is a kind of a nutty story out of New York. A big guy is suing the New York City Library. He worked there. And he said they gave him a desk that was way too small for him. And it has traumatized him. Oh, yeah. That's how I feel. <laughs> so he's suing for $4.6 million. Whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot. His tiny little desk traumatized wow. him as a big man. <laughs> hey, how you doing? We got you a desk. Yeah, we got you a real small, it's tight squeeze. It's like one of those high school desks where it was like the chairs built in. That is crazy, those, those desks. <laughs> There's the guy there. Oh, yeah. No, you got to get him a big desk. <laughs> this six foot two, 360 pound New York Public Library employee claims he was traumatized by being forced to work at a desk that was way too small, and he wants $4.6 million to make up for it. I need a bigger desk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what's that, sir? I need a bigger desk. No, we don't really have this. Everyone kind of works out of this desk area, so you just have to uh, sit here with everybody. It's uncomfortable. I, well, I understand that, but then maybe then maybe this isn't the job. I need four point six million. <laughs> <laughs> that seems unreasonable. That seems quite unreasonable. I don't see where the math comes into play how, here. How do you little people do this? <laughs> William Martin's tale began in October 2021 when he was told he had to work at the first floor service desk seen here at the library on Fifth Avenue in Midtown. He had to work at the lower part of the desk. You see how tall that lady is? She's only 5'6". <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this lady's, uh, her kneecap yeah, almost is yeah. at the desk. I can't work at this tiny desk. Uh -huh. uh, this welcome desk features a staggered countertop with a roughly 12-inch drop and he said, as a big man, it was crampy. Why didn't he go to the lar taller desk? Because this is where he was ordered yeah, to that's work his, from. Well, that's his workstation. I mean, it does okay, look uncomfortable. If we put you, Dave, at a tiny little desk, yeah, which like basically where, I have been, but like yeah. you're, you're, I have to cross my legs in this direction in order to sit uh, down. Like your legs wouldn't even that's be able to true. fit underneath. Like, if you had these keyboards yeah, just, that I deal yeah. with, do you have keyboards underneath? You don't have not, anything. No, no, I have the where we plug our headphones into yeah. on either side. So I it's... We got this thing here. What do you got down yeah, there? There's wood. We can't, like, you can't stretch, stretch out. our legs out. Oh, oh yeah, like, no, so you have to up. go sideways. I got a man yeah. spread towards Lisa. We're yeah. going to have to... Yeah, we need a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. I need 4.6. Four four yeah. 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 Hey, I don't feel great. I got to lean. I got to lean over. What do you got? I got to lean. Yeah. I got two you keyboard. Any, uh... I got two keyboard things. Um, you know, mind you, I just can you but... stretch your legs out? No. Oh cause... yeah, I got some. Yeah, well, he can go all the way under. Mm -hmm. This oh, is man. this we is can. We, what out happened here? Touching. Right here, we got Sucks. infrastructure underneath us. <laughs> Four point yeah. six. Yeah. Woo! There's been a couple of times I've been sliding around here and I hit a oh, knee. Oh! 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 Four point six. Four point six. Oh! That's a career ender. Oh. <laughs> Four point six. <laughs> I came up with a random number. <laughs> Four what are you point for? six. Oh. <laughs> What's that on the pain scale? That's a 4.6. Oh. Ah. It's like a Richter scale. Oh, that's a 4.6. Yeah. <laughs> my knees. Oh, my knees. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if he hits his knee a couple more times, it's going up. Yeah. It's going up. Five. That's ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm like, I if like you it. slide in, like every, yeah. uh, so it happened to me just, I was at an event that had, uh, you know, like those photo fold out tables, they put them up and I went to slide my chair in at this banquet and my knee hit one of the supports. I didn't realize oh. where like the leg was going to be. Oh. And I was like, ah! Ah, 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 you better sell some more ah, I do that you better. all the time. Oh, that is my life. It's dude. awful. That's my life. You remember my knee? Oh, oh, you better flatten out some chicken and dry it out. Really dry it. <laughs> sell a bunch. <laughs> Every time just yell out. Four point six. Every time I get hurt. Four Every time. Six. I like it when I get out of bed. My one knee. I'm like, ah! Ah! Four point six. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> Listen it. to that noise. <laughs> <laughs> It no. makes like a creak, like an old piece of wood. <laughs> you guys know when I was in going to physical therapy for my knee, he said it was the way I was sitting at yeah, work is, that was the major it. contributor yeah. to it. Yeah. So when my back was a mess and, and it was like just devastated, uh, I was in a chair that used to have arms. And so the arms would you stop arms me now. here. And then I was like having to reach way over and so that's why my back was so I did you have a hunchback had, for a while i did i yeah. did and also <laughs> yeah, you uh, could not get i could get hard i mean yeah. that's <laughs> I, that's just that's just normal yeah, okay. yeah, yeah that's my blood pressure that. that's don't my oh yeah that. don't no, no you're don't right. say that <clears throat> yeah you're right yeah uh yeah it's not the blood pressure medicine uh no but when that happened my whole quality of work uh, physical life yeah. went way up. They got to bust those things out. What is it? There's nothing even there's down there no, anymore. There no, the, all the computers are behind your monitors now. No, but there's no, wires there's, under there's, here. Uh, oh, they always, they are, every time something goes wrong, they take a panel off. I know they look, something. but there's like, they take a panel off to look at one little thing that's like the size of like a, you know, a little box or something. Oh. They could bust all that out. So uh, They're back not to this to. guy in New York that's suing. Um, he said, all I saw it was a desk with appropriate accommodation given my larger physical attributes. Yeah. His union eventually stepped in, helping him get assigned to a different desk within the library. But a couple of years later, he found himself in the same situation again. A new director was brought in, and they ordered him back to work at the cramped first floor desk. Things only got worse after he complained, so he got a lawyer involved. I would just break it. He's probably so break. big that if he just got up real fast, he might pop that whole top of the desk right off. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing falls apart. Yeah, like, uh-oh, I broke it. <laughs> a few months later, he says he was falsely accused of sleeping on the job. Okay. <laughs> and later suspended, prompting him to ask for a transfer and seek medical leave for depression. Well, it's so boring. Yeah, do not fall a, asleep there. That is crazy. I keep just thinking, like, you know who has millions to give him is the library. Oh, God. <laughs> no, not at all. No, not <laughs> yeah, these days. Library. That's what he means. I, yeah, I know. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, yeah. They're like, you could be three years late on a book, and it's 25 cents. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're not bringing in a lot of money. <laughs> this guy who once ran a sports blog called 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge claims his mental health has been damaged to such an extent then he just trembles at the thought of going back to work. <laughs> How you doing, Chuck? You heading back to work anytime no, soon? No, no. I don't want to. I don't want to. I mean, that is how I wake up. You normally do that. You tremble <laughs> every day. Uh, On the way in, you're like, ooh. ooh what's it going to be today? Ooh. <laughs> Not asking even Chuck the Freak. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite. Oh, my I God. Know you love it. Oh, no. I love it. It's not Friday, is it? Martin is asking a judge to force the library to approve a leave, along with, of course, 4.6. Yeah. yeah. A spokesperson for the New York Public Library claims the case is without merit, saying we take employee accommodations and concerns with the utmost seriousness, and we're dedicated to treating our staff across the library with fairness and respect. So, okay, so he's asking for 4.6, but realistically... Anything they gave him, he'd be thrilled, right? Like, even if they were like, you're not getting 4.6, we're going to give you 250000 You'd be like, woo! Yes! Mm -hmm. Well, that's why they do that, right? Like, that's oh, why yeah. they, they, like, lawyers, that's a strategy. They scare theirs. people with right. the big number. Right, and then they settle out of it for much yeah. longer, lower, but <laughs> I just, I mean, he's... he's I admire, I admire his tactic. Oh, it's, yeah. it's right. I'm scared to go to work now. <laughs> I'm a trembling. I'm a trembling. I'm shaking. Traumatic. Yeah. But you, can't, you can't put like the Green Mile guy no. in a small desk. Right. No. But I don't know about 4.6. Did they think he no. was intimidating, almost like a library bouncer? That people wouldn't try stuff if a big guy I don't know. was I think you'd desk? like that. I mean, I think that's just nice. I wish we had a bouncer. <laughs> no, we don't. No. Can't afford one. No, no. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I mean, at least it's like, you know, you're not going to steal the DVDs. When sure. he is on when the when he's watch. on the front desk. <laughs>